I tell you what, that's one of the greatest miracles you'll ever, that is the greatest miracle you'll ever see right here. You know, on the outside, he still looks like the same man, but on the inside, he's a brand new creature. And according to the Word of God, every person who has made Jesus your Lord, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And this is important because this means that that's what he created you for, is to be a dwelling place for the Holy Spirit. So you don't, when we pray and ask for the Holy Spirit, I'm going to lead you in a prayer right now. And when we do this, you don't have to beg God. He created you to fill with the Holy Spirit. That's what you were made for. So he wants you to have the Holy Spirit more than you want to have him. So you don't have to beg. Some people will teach that you've got to be holy and that you've got to get all sin out of your life before the Holy Spirit will come. He won't fill a dirty vessel. I want you to know God hadn't got any other kind of vessel to fill. <laughs> Amen. And it's like I was teaching tonight. The holiness, the good works are a byproduct of a relationship with God, not the way to relationship with God. So don't let some feeling of unworthiness stop you from receiving. God wants to give you the Holy Spirit. It's not a matter of Him giving. It's a matter of you receiving. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to lead you in a prayer, and I'd like to ask some of our Bible college students that are all around here to come up behind you, and they're going to lay hands on you because the Bible says that through the laying on of hands, the Holy Spirit was given. So these are all people who already have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and they will lay hands on you and release this power into you. So I'm going to lead you in a prayer, and then they are going to lead, uh, lay hands on you and release this power into you. And then I want you to quit asking for the Holy Spirit and take a step of faith and thank Him that He gave you the Holy Spirit. Don't go by how you feel. Don't go by anything external because this is a spiritual thing and it's a matter of faith. Eventually, it will dramatically affect your emotions and change a lot of things. But right now, we aren't asking for a goose bump. We aren't asking for a feeling. We're standing on a promise. It says in Luke uh, 10, 13, it says, If you, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask? That's a promise. And so we're going to ask, and God's going to give. And I don't care what you feel like. I, after they lay hands on you, I want you to start thanking God for giving you the Holy Spirit. That's important. Just take a step of faith and go to thanking Him regardless. And then those of us that have the baptism of the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues, we're going to start speaking in tongues because the Bible says, 1 Corinthians 14, 17, that when you speak in tongues... You're giving thanks well. You're praising God in a, in a heavenly language. You're bypassing all of the doubt and the unbelief that's in your brain, and you're speaking out of your spirit, man, which is, is the part of you that's saved. It's powerful. Anyway, I hadn't got time to explain it, but we're going to start speaking in tongues, and as we start speaking in tongues, I want you to quit thanking God in English and just start thanking Him in tongues. And I know some of you think, well, I don't know how to speak in tongues. It doesn't force itself out of you. It's like I said earlier. You know, if I would have stood up here tonight and said, Oh, God, speak through me, and don't let me say anything that's not of you, and then if I had just opened up my mouth and waited on God to make it work, nothing would have happened. God didn't force me to say what I say. I believe He inspired it, but He didn't force it. I spoke. That's the reason it came out in Texan. That's the reason it came out with my sense of humor. It was me speaking, but it was under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. It's the same thing when you speak in tongues. It says in Acts 2, 4, they spoke with tongues as the Spirit gave them the utterance or the inspiration. You have to speak and believe by faith that God is inspiring it. So don't just wait on the Holy Spirit to force you to speak in tongues. That's not how it happens. You have to, by faith, start speaking and believe it's the Holy Spirit. And I can promise you, after you get over the weirdness of it, the shock of it, the Holy Spirit will prove to you that this is Him inspiring it. It will produce great fruit in your life, and you can just speak in tongues. And it, it, I've got a book I'm going to give you that will explain the whole thing, and it'll help you a lot. But that's what we're going to do. And if you're ready, you can speak in tongues right now. Isn't that good? The Bible says believers will speak with new tongues. I want you to say, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. And I will speak in tongues. I will speak in tongues. Father, I thank you for all of these men.
Thank you, Father. Thank you for this brother who got born again tonight. That he's totally changed on the inside. That old things are gone. All things have become new. Thank you that every one of us now are the temple of the Holy Spirit and that you created us to fill with your Holy Spirit. Right now, we just open up the doors of this temple and we welcome you, Holy Spirit, to come into every one of these lives. We want your power. We want you to reveal Jesus unto us and give us spiritual understanding and revelation and to shed abroad the love of God in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. So we open up these doors and Holy Spirit come into our lives. Right now, we lay hands on you and say, Receive the Holy Spirit. We loose this power and anointing of the Holy Spirit to flow into your life right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Boy, here's the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit flowing into your lives. Now, I want you to begin to thank the Lord. Let's put your hands up like this, like when somebody sticks a gun in your back and you go, I surrender, yield right now and say, Father, I thank you that I have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that from this moment on, I am filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm God-possessed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Now, those of you who know how to pray in tongues, let's begin to worship the Lord and speak in tongues right now. And as we speak in tongues, you speak with us. Quit praying in English. You can't talk in English and tongues at the same time. And start speaking in this language. If you don't know what to say, you can try and say what you hear the person behind you saying. But your tongue will be unique to you. It won't be the same as anybody else. You can't say what they're saying. But it'll get you to talking if you try and say it. Just start, and then when it comes out different, keep talking. Keep talking, and don't worry about what it sounds like. When a little kid starts talking, it doesn't sound like they're saying mama and daddy, but I can guarantee you that parent knows what they're saying. Your heavenly Father is listening to your heart right now. He inhabits the praises of his people. Thank you, Jesus. Speak loud enough that you can hear yourself. Talk. Don't be bashful with it. Just forget yourself and talk to the Lord right now in a language that the Holy Spirit is giving. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you that you are helping people to verbalize, to release this power, to give voice to what you're doing in their life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me have your attention here for just a minute. Many, many, many of these men are praying in tongues. Amen. Isn't that great? You know, I know many of you are thinking, I don't have a clue what I just said. What is this all about? That's the reason it is so powerful is because it's going past your natural mind and you're getting into the spirit. This makes no sense to your physical mind. And that is the very reason that it's so powerful. Amen. I've got a book that I wrote on this and I'd like to give it to every one of you. And also, let me just say that if you, for whatever reason, did not speak in tongues, it doesn't mean that you didn't receive. God promised you he would give you the Holy Spirit. Right now, I'm not speaking in tongues, but I've got him. And so you have the Holy Spirit because you asked. You just need to receive and get past this uh, fear that you have about speaking in tongues. When I first received the Holy Spirit, it took me three and a half years to speak in tongues, but that's because I was a Baptist. And I had been taught that it was of the devil 
And I just had so many fears that I wouldn't allow myself to speak. And it took me a while to get my questions answered, but I have gotten them answered. I wrote a book about it. I'll give it to every one of you. And whether you spoke in tongues or not, I believe God gave you the Holy Spirit. And if you will follow through with what I've talked about, you will start speaking in tongues. And I tell you, this will be the second most important thing that you've ever received from God. It'll be life transforming. Amen? Amen. So we've got Ashley right here. He's the one in the aisle with his hand up, the Brit. Amen. He's a blessing. And if you just follow him, he's got those books. Where are they, Ashley? Where are you going? So anyway, it'll just be one of the classrooms just right down the hall. If you'll go over there, we'll give you that book. And if anybody has a question, there's people that will answer your questions. They'll pray with you and help you any way they can. And it'll only take a minute, but it'll be a blessing. So just follow Ashley. And they'll give you this book. Let's praise God for these. Isn't that awesome? Praise God. I believe this is going to be life changing. Life changing. You guys are going to go back home and your wives are going to say, what happened to you? What happened to that man that left home? You'll be different. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'd like to ask uh, some of our Bible college students here, if you would. I know that many of you may have come with needs and we want to help you and minister to you, whether it's a physical need, a financial, emotional, maybe you are going through hardship, some, something happened. And anyway, any way we can to help you. These people have been in school, some of them, at, at least the first year students have been in school for six months. The second year students have been here for two years. Some of them are three years or more. These people are full of the Word of God and they want to help you. If you guys would stand down here and turn around and face the group, this way we can pray for every person in here. I do not have to pray for every person individually. Jesus loves you. And these people, all they're going to do is agree with you. And I mean, they're stronger than horseradish. <laughs> they are wanting to lay hands on someone. So if you want prayer for anything, I'd like to invite you forward right now and let you have one of our students here uh, pray with you. And I believe we're going to see good things happen. If you want prayer, come forward right now and let someone agree with you. The rest of you, I'm going to dismiss you here in a minute, but let these get out of the aisle and make their way up front first. And then I'd like to remind you that we are going to have some fellowship and some food and some things uh, down here. And so please take advantage of those. If you need prayer for anything, come right now. We're going to have somebody stand at the aisles that will direct you towards a person. And that way everybody won't just get on one side. But uh, cooperate and follow these directions. And praise God, we're going to see miracles happen. Remember that we start breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning. We are going to start at 8.30 sharp giving away some gifts. And I mean, last year they gave away some gifts that I was wanting. These are really good gifts. You need to be here at 8.30 uh, to make sure you're here or you possibly could miss out on getting your name called. Amen. You're welcome to stay in here and pray with us, but we've got fellowship and food and snacks and things back here. So you're dismissed. We'll